Hello, a short video for AWS beginners on how to read a S3 bucket policy. If you want to make a bucket that's publicly available, you have to set the bucket policy. And when you search for that, you will probably find something like this. I find this very difficult to read. I find this very difficult, especially as a beginner to understand. So I like to rearrange that and then read it for you in the hopes that uh, it's easier to understand that way. This is the same content, just a little bit rearranged. And this says that this resource or this object or these objects inside the bucket, if this client or this person tries to access them with this method or with this request type of get object, then you should allow it, but only under the condition that this is met. For public access, you should probably also be fine with this one. But putting that aside, let's go more into details on this one. The resource says that this bucket, so this, this is what is going to be accessed. This is what is going to be accessed or what is the, yeah. And here you state the bucket name, which is a little bit confusing because you already are inside the bucket and this is the bucket policy for this bucket. And even though you have to stand, even though giving that, you still have to state the bucket itself. I find, I would find this much more natural to read, but it is as it is, you have to state the bucket name and then you have to state which objects are you talking about? In our case, we talk about every object in the bucket. And the principle, like I said, is basically the client, the one who wants to access this resource. In our case, everyone wants to access this, or everyone can access these resources. I say can because this says allows. There's a problem with the language and the way you put it here. Okay, and then the action says what kind of, like this, person thing, what kind of actions they want to do. In our case, they just want to run get object means uh, just access some file inside the bucket. And this says if you want to allow or deny it, pretty simple. I find this much easier because in my sense, this is much more hierarchical because it says uh, what do you want to access, who wants to access, access it, what, which, with what kind of action does he or she or it wants to access it and then is this allowed or denied. Okay, giving that, let's go to another example just for practice sakes. Uh, sometimes you find examples with the SID. I'm not sure actually what it means, to be honest, please fill me in the comment sections. As far as I understood it, it's not, it's basically whatever you want to type it in, it just has to be unique. Okay, again, we have this resource wants to be accessed by if this resource, let's put it in if, if this resource wants to be accessed by this thing, it, in our case, it's a service, it's the CloudFront Amazon AWS.com service, meaning that the CloudFront service, uh, if the CloudFront service wants to call a get object, then it's allowed. And let's leave this out for a second. If you configure your bucket like this, then cloud, uh, then AWS will give you a warning and say, well, that's too broad because it means that any CloudFront service can access your bucket in this case. Meaning even like Mr. I don't know who has their CloudFront service can access your bucket just because it's also a CloudFront service, right? So that's too broad. So what you want to do is you set a certain condition or a, like a narrowing condition uh, says that uh, the string, this, the string with this key should be this value, meaning that the AWS source ARN should be this, meaning it's a CloudFront service from this AWS account ID with this distribution ID. The CloudFront service distribution ID can be found if you click the CloudFront, uh, if you open the CloudFront console or the CloudFront like service on the website, and then you have the listing of all your CloudFront distributions, and then on the left you have the ID. This is what's going here. Okay, I just rearranged and read it for you. I hope this made things a little bit clear. I don't, I wanna make this specifically, uh, I wanna state this specifically. I don't tell you that you should configure it this way. I don't want to tell you that you should configure it this way. This is just for the sake of, this is the way you read it, or this is the way you can read it. Uh, I hope this helps you. For the content itself, probably sh you should consider other websites to, to figure out what you should do there. Okay, thank you very much for watching.